Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. It's been a while since I last posted a video here on YouTube and that has multiple reasons. But today I'm here with a new video for you and in this video I'm going to tell you a little bit about what happened in the past month and why I haven't been posting any videos. The main reason is this new place. If you follow me and if you're subscribed to my channel, you probably remember that about five weeks ago I posted a video about a new apartment. Well, right now I am sitting in the new apartment and we have to move. We moved to this new place about three weeks ago and that sounds a lot easier than it actually was. And because of all the issues we had to deal with, I just haven't had time to make the video. So let me tell you a little bit about all those issues that we had to deal with and are still dealing with. So three weeks ago is when we actually moved here, but before that we had already signed a contract course and start to get the place ready. When we signed the contract, the landlord said she was going to replace the bathroom. There was a tub in there and if you saw one of my previous videos, the apartment tour, you probably noticed that I was not able to take showers in that bathroom. There was a tub and then a big water uh, heater and with that in place, both the tub and the water he heater, it was going to be impossible for me to take showers. So when we signed the contract, the lady agreed that she would take out the tub and make a proper shower with, a, with sliding doors. And she actually did that. They were working on it. Um, it took a little bit longer than planned because there have been um, a couple of new cases of COVID here in China and in Beijing and in the surrounding area. So um, delivery of products was delayed, but that was fine actually, that wasn't a big deal. The big deal and the problem was that after they um, had put in the tiles, because they took the tub out and they had to put new tiles on the floor and on the wall at the bottom, when we tried out the shower, Miguel took a shower and he realized, he noticed that the floor was all leveled. Well, usually you want a floor level, but in a tub you don't want your floor leveled because what happens, all the water was just staying on the bottom and not draining. So that was a problem and that problem had to be fixed. So they came back to take out the tiles and redo the whole bathroom which was another delay and we couldn't use the bathroom in a shower. And then there were also other issues. We found out quickly that um, it was actually leaking. There was a leak in the bathroom. Somehow there's a leak going, in, down, going downstairs to where the downstairs neighbors are and that needed to be fixed. With the Chinese New Year coming up, that was a, well, not so easy and they couldn't find workers. But the main reason it was hard to fix is that um, it turns out that um, our landlady and her husband have some financial issues because there are certain bills that they have not paid in years and that we are now dealing with. I'll get to that later. Um, they were giving some workers who came to check the bathroom and to look at how it could be fixed a hard time about the money and they didn't want to spend the money on fixing it properly so what happened was that the brother of the landlady came to fix it and he put some kind of weird glue on it anyways we don't think it's really fixed it's still leaking so yeah that's about the bathroom that was a issue we live in a compound and there is like a property management office who take care who takes care of everything and um, we get hot water from the sea when miguel first wanted to top off the electricity like we were told we're not we were not able to because the property management fee had not been paid in a long time by the landlord so they were like no we don't want you to put we cannot let you put more money on your electricity because you first have to pay your bills we're still dealing with that it's been like a month now and they still have not paid their bills for the property management fee management fee and then also the hot water fee they have not paid in three years our bathroom the hot water is coming from like the Beijing uh, city hot water kind of thing uh, and you have to top it up you have to put water on a card 
and then you put in the cart into like a little machine in your house and then you get the hot water. So the first time they tried to put on water on that cart, they said, nope, you can't put any water on there because the landlord first has to pay their bill and they were saying, oh yeah, we'll pay it, we'll pay it by the end of the week. But nobody went and paid their bills. So now for both the electricity and the hot water, we're keeping our fingers crossed and hope we can manage until after the Chinese New Year, the Spring Festival break, because we already had one evening where the electricity went out and we were just sitting here in the dark and we had to light all our little candles. We're hoping they're gonna deal with all that very soon. They should have dealt with that like right away when we signed the contract. So that has been taking up a lot of our energy um, which made it hard to focus on filming and then also getting the place in order to up a lot of the energy. I've been off from work for two weeks now. I had an extended uh, spring festival vacation because of some new cases of COVID here in Beijing. So in a way that's good because I've been able to spend a lot of time here as well in the apartment helping Miguel out. Miguel did a lot of work on the floors. He cleaned all the floors in the house. Um, they were really, really dirty. And then together we worked on just unpacking all of the boxes, putting things in place, um, scrubbing the bathroom towels, scrubbing the kitchen towels, and just fixing all kinds of little things. We painted a lot in the house as well. A lot of the frames around the windows and the doors and the doors themselves were a really weird yellow co color and they had the tar on it from smoking. So we decided to paint those white and now we're basically here waiting for all of the furniture that we ordered to arrive. We ordered a bunch of furniture. Uh, we want a little TV stand under the TV. We bought a little storage sofa for in the little entrance hallway where we can put our like bags and shoes. And we also bought dining tables to go with our dining table because right now we're using office chairs there. But because of Chinese New Year, nothing uh, is being shipped yet. Everything is going to be shipped after Chinese New Year. So it will be another week or two before everything will arrive and we can really finish up the apartment. So yeah, that's basically the reason why I haven't put up any videos and why it's been a little bit more quiet here on the channel. So um, this was a little bit about an update and explaining why there hasn't been no video for a month. If you want to see uh, what I'm up to uh, day to day and you want to see short stories, make sure to check out my Instagram because I'm a little bit more active there during um, these days. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Bye!